What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today man, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video talking about what badges you really need to be putting on your players, aka the best badges here in my team. The reason why I say it like that is because I'm not entirely sure how I want to title this video, so there's, you know, obviously two different things obviously it could be titled but the whole point is we're gonna be talking about the best badges you guys really want to be using here in my team if this video does help you guys out do me a favor and leave a like would be greatly appreciated if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button at the time you guys are seeing this i'm actually going to be on vacation so yeah i don't know i mean unless there's some random thing 2k does where they throw in some new badge i'm gonna be on vacation when you guys see this video so yeah be sure to kill the like button because I'm not going to be here. But anyway, let's get into some badges here and talking about what badges each of your players need to have. Now, we're basically going to be breaking this down by position because I feel like different positions don't obviously need certain badges. Like, I'll just talk about one badge right away is being mismatch expert. You obviously don't need to put mismatch expert on your center. Literally, it serves no point. Okay, mismatch expert, it gets triggered, I think, when a player is three inches or taller, like then that player, they have to be at least three inches taller than that player. So putting it on a 6'11 center, I mean, I guess could work out, but like it's rarely gonna matter. However, putting it on a guy like Steph Curry is really gonna matter most. So going to your point guards here, let's talk about the best badges you need to have on your point guard or your shooting guard that you run your offense through. So if not a guy like Steph Curry, maybe a guy like Kobe Bryant, maybe if you like using a guy like Dwayne Wade, you could do that. Uh, Pistol P, if you run him at the two for whatever reason, you know, guys like that. Now, obviously, like I talked about before, your point guard is going to be that guy that you are going to be running your offense through, or at least 99.9% .9 of people, they run their offense through a point guard or a shooting guard. Again, a guy like Pistol Pete, right? So just kind of talking about your point guard slash shooting guard, if you're running your offense through them, looking at the badges here right away, the most important couple badges, obviously, that we're going to be talking about are shooting badges. Now, again, when you look at a guy like Steph, it's really easy to be like, oh yeah, look at these shooting badges, right? Hall of Fame badges are important, but you don't need to have them on Hall of Fame yet. Like, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Having them on Hall of Fame is not that important. However, I'm going to tell you guys right now, really important badges to have is definitely going to be Chef and Deadeye. Those are the first two badges we're going to be talking about for your point guard. I'm going to just go in order of what actually is on these cards here. Uh, but Chef and Deadeye are really good because Chef obviously says increases the range for off the dribble three point shots. Now, that badge is kind of, I don't want to say it's glitched, but it's basically like it actually goes with the Limitless um, shooting badge as well. Um, which obviously is really good the limitless spot up one where if you're just standing still um, It's kind of like they got to go hand in hand together. So I'm gonna just say chef and limitless um, What the hell is it again? Limitless what yeah limitless spot up, right? So limitless spot up and chef these two badges are really good Obviously to have on your guys because whether you're going off the dribble or you're actually involved in a catch-and-shoot situation They're really important to have obviously the farther back you can shoot the easier it is gonna be to get open because again a lot of the times if you're running those high pick and rolls, you can stop a lot farther away and actually get a lot of more wide open threes. Dead Eye is really good because again, it says reduces the impact of a defender who is closing out. So, you know, again, if you are playing those high pick and roll situations and your opponent is trying to run out to you, you're gonna be able to get these threes a lot easier and really they're gonna help out. Now there are some other badges like Green Machine and even Hot Zone Hunter that are really good, but I, I don't wanna say that they're not necessary. A lot of people, you know, really think that you need them. They're obviously super helpful to have, but like if you're good at greening and you're already kind of know what you're doing, it's not entirely a like a necessity, but I would put it on your cards anyway. 100% I would put them on it. Now, this badge right here, dead center, you guys can see, Sniper. Sniper is, Sniper is an interesting badge. We're going to leave it at that. Sniper is an interesting badge. Basically what that means is you could be Timmy No Thumbs and shoot whites all day and they will all go in. Sniper is really important to have. It's one of the badges that actually does go for a lot in this game as well. Sniper is really good because again, if you do time your shots very poorly, they will really help you out. Now, the rest of the things I'm gonna talk about for being on a point guard, I mean, obviously there is a lot of other badges you can have on him, but a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about is going to be quick first step, which you guys can see, I don't even have it upgraded on my Steph, um, but quick first step, clamps, um, dimer, floor general, uh, you could put Unpluckable on there, really, uh, and then also Bullet Passer. Those are really good badges to have on your point guard. Bullet Passer is really helpful because, again, you need to be able to make quick reads and quick passes, and it definitely helps when your guy's not just lofting the ball up for fun. Um, Hyperdrive is actually good, too. Uh, increases the dribble skills while on the move. I mean, that's just really, you know, that and Quick Chain. Quick Chain's really good as well, but, again, 
Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't dribble, so I'm not really going to talk about it. It definitely helps, though. I'm not going to lie. It definitely does help. Unpluckable is really good. It prevents people from just spamming square against you. But uh, as far as, again, a point guard goes, quick first step is super important to have. I'm going to actually upgrade this on Steph. I actually assumed he already had it on gold. Uh, but putting quick first step on gold is going to be really helpful because it actually is going to help you get around pick and rolls and actually around screens and stuff like that a lot faster to be able to create a lot of different looks for you. Clamps, interceptor are really nice to have. But again, I'm just kind of more talking about the offensive end. A lot of people don't even have their point guard guard the other guard anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Floor general and dimer though are really good to have on your point guard as well because this is who you're running your offense through. So having a boost obviously when you pass that ball into a shot is really helpful as well as having a badge that just gives a boost anyway to your players being on the floor. For the sake of this video, I did actually swap ML Carr and Chris Mullen, but next up we're gonna be talking about your two, three, and four. These guys are going to be really important as well. Again, the reason why is because I feel like these are going to be your primary defenders. These wing guys are the ones that end up getting switched onto random players. I mean, most people run matchups as in like they put the three on the one, the two on the three, and the one on the two. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's all good. I know it may sound a little confusing. Basically, the small forward guards the point guard, the shooting guard guards the small forward, and your point guard guards the shooting guard. You can do it like that. I think it's just extra in this game. I don't think you really need to do that. I normally just swap these two. I normally will put my two on the one and my put my one on the two. It really works out perfectly fine that way. These guys are right here. The badges you really want to make sure that they have though, just going through right out the gate. I mean, again, now when I'm talking about in this video, obviously having all these badges really matter, you know, and they're really important, like glue hands, um, you know, pickpocket, pick dodger, like, well, okay, we're gonna talk about pick dodger, but a lot of different badges are really helpful. Like Pogo is really nice to have. Um, what else? I mean, Bela is obviously really good to have. You know, a lot of these different badges are really solid to have. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Having Bela on your point guard is going to be really helpful too. I don't like talking about it though because I, I don't like the badge. I don't like the fact that it's in the game because literally it's a badge that bails people out and it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to just leave it at that. The rest of these badges though, when it comes to your two, three, and four, again, if they can have good shooting badges like Chef, like Limitless Spot Up, like Deadeye, make sure you guys put shooting badges on every player that you can possible. Let me just clarify that out the gate. Put shooting badges on everything possible. For your wing players though, I would say the most important badges to have on the defensive end is Pick Dodger, Clamps, Interceptor, and Intimidator. These are really good. You can put glue hands as well. Um, on there, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's only an offensive badge. I could be wrong there, but these four badges right here are super important. Pickpocket obviously helps, but pick dodger is really helpful, especially if people are running plays against you, your guys will be able to get through them. But more importantly, again, the guy you put on your primary, on their primary like score is going to need pick dodger. A hundred percent. They're going to need it because they need to be able to get through the screen spam that most people do. Clamps obviously to make sure they stay in front. But your wing players having Interceptor is going to be huge. The reason why is if they do have Interceptor, they're going to be able to play lanes a lot. And what do I mean by that? Them being able to play lanes, I mean, they're going to be able to jump passing lanes for you, and it's really going to make the world of a difference. Again, I don't even have it upgraded on Melo, but obviously, you know, I'm going to, I don't really badge out my players because I know I can win without them. This is just a video to help you guys if you guys are struggling or anything like that. KD, I'm pretty sure had it, but apparently not, or I just passed over it maybe. Uh, what is going on here? Hello? I mean, imagine that. KD doesn't even have Interceptor. But the whole point is, is these three guys having Interceptor is going to greatly help you guys out. Now, again, I don't badge out my players because of two reasons. One, I am a no money spent player, so I don't really like wasting like MT on badges. These players are going to play phenomenal for me because I know I'm good enough at this game where I don't need to rely on badges. And I'm not saying you guys do, but all I'm saying is, is it definitely helps to have Interceptor. If you're not the best at playing lanes, having Interceptor on these three guys is going to be really important. Now, going back to your point guard, one badge I forgot to mention is Mismatch Expert, as I was talking about before. That is really helpful to have. I actually think I did say that on him, or about your point guards or whatever. Yeah, that's the first badge I talked about. Never mind, I'm a little slow. But again, you could run that on some other guys, but it's not really like necessary because like you take a guy like KD, he's 6'9", right? So maybe if there's a seven footer in front of him, cool. But most of the time, KD is going to be matched up with like a guy like LeBron, a guy like Kawhi, AK, those kind of guys. So it's not going to matter anyway. Now going into your center position here, your center position, actually, there's a few badges that definitely matter a lot. Pogo stick right out the gate is something you're going to need 110%. Right next to that, you need to make sure you have rim protector. Your center needs to have a good interior defense with these two badges. 
paint mashing in this game is unbelievably broken so if you can you need to do what the best thing you can to try to counter it and unfortunately that is going to be pogo stick and rim protector i don't know why i said unfortunately but that is going to be your best case to actually have on your center now other good badges to have are badges like rise up limitless takeoff those are two really good badges as well and again having clamps is really good and intercept is really good but another good badge you want to make sure you have is intimidator intimidator is super important to have on your center as well so they actually are able to you know get those contests on different players and stuff like that and it really does help now the one badge that i don't have on josh smith that i'm going to tell you guys right now is super important as well is brick wall Brick wall is really good to have on your center because you're going to need them to actually, you know, set really good screens and stuff like that. Josh Smith is not a traditional center, so there's some badges on him that I don't actually have, which is okay. I mean, obviously, it would help to, you know, add badges like post playmaker. They give a little bit of a boost on passes or on, uh, yeah, you passing out. Bullet pass is really good. There's some other badges that are really good as well, but... I mean, honestly, I'm going to tell you guys right now, too, that if you have, uh, where is it? If you have box, is really important to have on centers as well. So box, put back boss, and also, I apparently he already has it on him, so I'm going to find this really quick. Box, put back boss, and am I just, okay, so maybe he can't get it, I guess, or did I just, like, pass by it, or whatever the case is here. So I don't know if I just passed by, or whatever the case is. Uh, apparently, I don't know, maybe he just isn't allowed to get it, but box, Put back boss, rebound chaser are super important badges to have as well on your center. That is going to make a world of a difference for how they rebound and how they play for you. So yeah, just kind of giving you guys a quick little recap. Make sure your point guard is juiced basically. So he really point guard center, make sure they are cracked out with as many good badges you can put on him. Your wings, make sure they just have all the good defensive badges. I mean, that's super important again to have those offensive badges like, you know, uh, limitless spot up. Uh, Chef, Deadeye, uh, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter. Hot Zone Hunter is really good to have on your wings as well. I actually forgot to mention that because they are going to actually be sitting in those hot zones, basically acting as cones. So it's really good to have them on there. But just make sure that they are cracked out defensively. I hope this video did help you guys out. Be sure to kill that like button. If you guys did enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me just show you guys really quick. Uh, I'm not stocking up on badges or anything like that. I'm not just, you know, stocking up to hope that, you know, I can make a ton of MT here not doing anything like that. I literally won't even be home when I post this video. So even if I was, I wouldn't even be here to kind of take advantage of it. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy and yeah, peace.